Wells Fargo is a proud partner of Valley Works, working together to achieve great things for our community. For the self-employed worker, it is all about the records you keep, and hopefully you've been doing that all year long. It is the best way to make sure you receive all of the tax deductions you're eligible for. Any ordinary and necessary expenses incurred in the process of earning that revenue, it's deductible. CPA James Ellerou says one of the top expenses self-employed workers can deduct is for transportation. There are many handy tools available to help you keep track of your mileage and other vehicle costs. They just need to maintain a very, very good record of that because they have to keep uh, an odometer readings of, to, of, of the miles uh, driven uh, and the purpose for driving the distance uh, because IRS looks at that very, very carefully. If you've set up office in your home, make sure you keep those expenses separate from your regular household. For instance, a designated line for your business phone. And you must be very specific about what portion of your home serves as the office. How many square feet? Eight by eight, 10 by 10? Uh, what is the total square foot of your home? Okay, that portion, the percentage of that is strictly for business. Other deductions you shouldn't overlook are expenses for additional education or training programs that enhance your business or your expertise. Restaurant meals, if you can prove they are business related. And if you're paying for your family's health insurance cost out of pocket, you can claim a deduction for your health insurance premiums. The same applies for your retirement plan. Many tax experts will tell you that an individual retirement plan or IRA is one of the best tax write-offs for the self-employed. For Valley Works, I'm Juanita Stevenson, ABC 30 Action News.